Welcome back. I'm here tasting vintage champagne and uh, there aren't really a lot of vintage champagne from 2003 but I think those growers who uh, who work well, um, they managed to make some really really interesting wines. Of course this was a precautious vintage with the hottest and driest summer we've seen for a very very long time. This is a cuvee which is a Grand Cru from uh, Gotorbe located in Aïe. And I think that this is uh, showing the best of this really ripe and precocious vintage. It, the nose is really exotic with plenty of patisserie in there. It's almost like fresh brioche and apricot jam and uh, some creamy and buttery notes. At the same time, I love this autolytic character, you know, that very vinous character, which is sometimes more reminiscent of a Meursault than a, than a Champagne in terms of opulence. Now the taste now, it's rather on the full and opulent side with the really pleasant fruit. Once again I do get these notes of apricot, of peach, uh, but I think it's uh, quite dry in terms of um, added sugar, a quite low dosage here, uh, thus it's underlined by a fresh acidity which keeps lingering on the finish, rather long persistence and I, taking, I take great pleasure in drinking this and uh, of course I don't think this is a champagne to age for a very long time. I'd be happy to pair this now with, um, uh, w preferably with food, such as all great champagnes should uh, should be. Uh, it's a bit rich for perhaps for oysters or for natural sh uh, shellfish. I would go for um, quite structured fish dishes, such as grilled turbot or uh, pan-fried sole or or scallops, and even with you know chicken, veal with uh, with mushrooms or um, well plenty of dishes. Enjoy Gutor. Grand Cru 2003.